So for this, that's just a short little video to show you how to connect a nebulizer into the BiPAP or CPAP system if that's what you need it to do. For that, you're going to need a little um, three-piece as such. Sometimes the nebulizer mask comes now with a three-piece in the packet. So you, obviously, if it is in the nebulizer, you don't need a second one, but this one doesn't, so I'll use one of these. You will also need air because you don't want to disrupt what's going on with the BiPAP in terms of um, oxygen percentage or concentration there. Um, so you're going to, as we normally would do with our COPD patients and that, you would just uh, deliver the nebulizer via air. The chamber that you, in the pack you will need, so you just open that or pop it down through the top put the fluid, whatever, salbutamol, abdovent, whatever, down through into the chamber. And keep your little chamber upright, because you won't have it attached to the mask, all right? And then take the, the tea piece and pop it in there. To, in order to keep the nebulizer upright, you're going to need to use the bottom bit of the bottom arm of the tea piece, really, keeping that upright, then connect the little hose to the bottom of the chamber and connect it to your air. Okay, and then all you need to do is briefly break the circuit at the mask. Okay, so keep the filter at the expiratory port. Okay, and then you can swing this around. It will only fit one way. So swing that around. The tea piece runs from the mask. If you just that little um, arm there will swing round sideways so that you can connect that. We find on a normal patient or a real patient as such, it's easier and you can just use this. The shoulder would be higher and you can get that connected so it's not sort of swinging down sideways and um, like a prop against your patient. Do whatever you need to do if you have to put a little blanket or whatever in there to keep that little chamber upright. And then you just simply put your nebulizer um, up to six whatever to drive of air to drive your nebulizer into the system and then when the nebulizer is finished disconnect that t-piece and put the system back together as it was all right